Hello, in this video we're going to look at a supply and demand problem that incorporates a quota. We'll also find the deadweight loss associated with the quota. So here we have the market demand and supply equations given as follows. Here's the demand equation, supply equation is last. If the government imposes a quota on the quantity of the good at 400, we want to compare the equilibrium price and quantity with and without the quota. Without the quota, we're going to set quantity demanded equal to quantity supplied. Uh, doing the simplification here, uh, we see that the equilibrium price is $2, and the equilibrium quantity is 600, 1,000 minus 400. With the quota, uh, the supply will be 400. Okay, uh, Firms can't bring more than 400 units to the market, so it's as if the supply curve becomes vertical at 400. So setting the demand equation equal to 400, and solving here, we see that the price is a little bit higher. The equilibrium price now is $3, and that should be no surprise when you restrict output, price goes up. And to make sure that consumers will buy 400 units at a price of $3, we put this $3 back into the demand equation, and we find that indeed consumers will buy 400 units at a price of $3. Uh, the last thing here, we'll look at the deadweight loss of the quota. <clears throat> We need four bits of information to calculate the deadweight loss triangle. We need the price with the quota, which we found was $3, the equilibrium quantity without the quota, $600, the equilibrium quantity with the quota, $400, and then we need to find the marginal cost, or we need to evaluate the supply equation at the level of the quota. So here's the supply equation, and what I'll do is I'll plug 400, the quota, in for Q, and then solve for P, and we see that P equals 150. So now we have all the dimensions to calculate the dead weight loss triangle. Uh, area of a triangle is one half base times height. We can say that the height of the triangle is uh, 3 minus 150, and we can say that the base of the triangle is 600 minus 400, and this gives us a dead weight loss of $150. I hope you found this video helpful.